now let us discuss about jk flip flop logic symbol circuit diagram and truth table first let us see the logic symbol jk flip flop accepts two inputs such as j and k it is a flip flop so we know that we must apply clock pulse on the flip flop so this is the clock pulse and we know that every flip flop will produce as two outputs the first output is q and the second output is q bar these two outputs are complemented to each other now let us see the circuit diagram for the jk flip flop if we observe here this is the circuit diagram for sr flip flop using nand gate here the jk flip flop using nand gate circuit diagram is similar to sr flip flop circuit diagram using nand gate but uh, some slight uh, modifications are needed slight enhancements are needed so we know that uh, this is nothing but this part is nothing but uh, sr latch using nand gate and uh, we need to have two nand gates the first nand gate accept yes as the input y yes stands for set second nand gate accepts r as the input r stands for reset we must apply the clock pulse and it produces two outputs such as q and q bar so let us see the truth table already we have seen this circuit diagram as well as truth table uh, so please refer that video sr flip flop using nand gate i will share that video link in the description as well as comments here the first two three cases of the truth table are similar to jk flip flop only so here s yes and r are the inputs this is nothing but truth table whereas q n plus 1 is nothing but next state output if the inputs are 0 0 then the output is memory there is no change so that is nothing but q n so next state output as well as current state output both are same only if the inputs are 0 1 so here r value is 1 that means reset is 1 so reset means output is 0 so 0 is the output so 0 stands for reset whereas the third combination is 1 0 here s value is 1 so the output is set 1 so 1 stands for set so here these three cases are similar to the sr flip flop using nand gate only so in that video already we have seen uh, these cases please refer that video i will share that video link in the description as well as the in the comments okay next the last case is in sr flip flop if the inputs are 1 1 then the output is invalid we never use this combination whereas here in jk flip flop we can make use of that combination so here we are using jk flip flop mainly to overcome the drawback of sr flip flop what is the drawback of sr flip flop in sr flip flop if the inputs are 1 1 that means if s value is 1 r value is 1 then the output is invalid we never use this combination so in order to overcome that problem we can use jk flip flop in jk flip flop we can use 1 1 combination remaining three combinations are similar to sr flip flop only so only 1 1 combination is different in sr flip flop 1 1 is never used whereas in jk flip flop we can make use of 1 1 combination so for that what we need to do is uh, for the this is first nand gate this is second nand gate first nand gate accept input from complemented output that is nothing but q bar so this first to nand gate accept input from input from this complemented output that is q bar likewise the second nand gate receives input from this q second nand gate receives uh, second nand gate receives input from yeah second in and gate receives input from q so now 
in place of s we need to write j in place of r we need to write k here j is nothing but set input r is nothing but k input so we have to uh, we have to include two more corrections what is the first connection the first in and gate accept input from the complemented output that is q bar likewise the second and gate receives input from this output that is q and then if we apply 1 1 here in jk flip flop if the inputs are 1 1 then the flip flop will works like toggle so toggle means complement of the current output so we can write this as q n bar q n bar is nothing but complement of the current output so let the current output is 0 let the current output is 0 then if we apply 1 1 then what will happen the current output will be toggled it will be complemented that means it will produce one as the output let the current output is 1 let the current output is 1 then if we apply 1 1 then what is the next state output so next state output is nothing but qn plus 1 whereas current state output is nothing but qn so let the inputs are 1 1 and assumes that current state output is 1 then what will happen one will be toggled so it will be complemented so we will get zero as the output so this is about introduction to flip flop such as logic symbol circuit diagram and tooth table